my channel. So today I am going to be showing you how to make this really bougie mirror. This thing looks like something that you would seriously buy at a name brand store. The only thing is differently what I would do, the little things that hold the picture, like the back of the picture frames or the pictures, take them out first. I glued them and then afterward realized, hey, I probably should have took them out. A little story about this mirror. I actually made this mirror all the way back in November of last year, 2017, and I'm just getting the tutorial out now. Just been really busy. You guys, this carpeting that you saw is really just a blanket and it is so soft. It's from DKNY, y'all. I'm gonna sleep. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Let's see if we could get this video to 5,000 likes. If we could get it to 5,000 likes, I sure would appreciate that. Anyways, this is my ugly side. I always talk from this side because that's my nice side. Anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep. Let's begin the tutorial. For this DIY, I'll be using the white foam board from Dollar Tree as well as their framed mirrors that are 8 by 10 inches long. I take the mirrors out of the frame and I place them on top of the foam board to get an idea of how big I want the main mirror to be. Once I got them laid out how I want them to be, I take a pencil and I outline it and then I use my box cutter to cut out the shape. I do want to say something about the foam board. Personally, I rather use a cheap piece of wood that I got at the hardware store than the foam board. I only used the foam board because I was trying to use only Dollar Tree products for this DIY. The thing is, all the mirrors attached to each other weigh a little bit more than usual because it's a big mirror. So I'm just afraid one day the foam board is just going to detach because there's two pieces of paper that are covering the actual piece of foam in the middle. And I'm just afraid the weight from the mirrors one day will make the foam board just kind of fall apart. So personally, if you can get a cheap piece of wood, I recommend doing that. And most of the bigger chain hardware stores like Home Depot and Lowe's will cut the wood down for you. So it's not like you have to go buy the wood and then also get a saw to cut it in half. To attach the mirrors to the foam board, I'm going to be using a heavy duty glue and this is the super glue fix all that you can find at Dollar Tree. It's very similar to the E6000 glue. Now I apply the glue to the back of the mirror and then I use a makeup sponge to spread the glue out. I want to make sure that the entire back of the mirror is covered in that glue. And you don't want to be stingy with the glue, you want a lot of glue applied to each mirror to make sure it doesn't fall on top of your head if you, you know, just so happen to put the mirror near a couch yeah I highly doubt you want mirrors to crack your head open now I'm taking these small framed mirrors from Dollar Tree and I'm placing them around the bigger mirrors to get an idea of how I want them to look I do have the bigger pieces of mirror kind of showing on the edges on the left and the right just because the mirrors don't perfectly frame around the edges of the bigger mirror if that makes sense now I didn't notice initially that these smaller framed mirrors have different designs to them so if you want them all to be a uniform design make sure you're buying them all to look the same but because I had a mixture of the two different designs I had to arrange them so that it doesn't look so funky once I have an idea of how I want them all to be placed around the mirror I then start to glue them down with my super glue fix all I eventually had to switch to a quick grip glue that I got at Walmart for around two dollars and ninety seven cents just because I ran out of the super glue fix all so if you use the super glue fix all make sure you get at least two packs because like I said you don't want to be stingy with the glue and like I said at the beginning of the video I ended up gluing the smaller mirrors down and then noticing that I should have took out the little pieces that are inside of the frames that hold the back of the frame and the pictures in place so you can see them popping out a little bit in my mirror so if you do this make sure you take that out I didn't notice like I said and then by the time I noticed that it was too late to take them out because the mirrors were already attached now to hang this up if you're using the foam board like I did you're gonna end up having to use command strips you can't nail this to your wall there's no other way to hang it up you can always put like a string on the back and attach it somehow but because this way so much if you're using the foam board it's not worth that risk of it crashing down on you so you want to get command strips and ones that are at least going to be able to hold 16 pounds now this isn't a 16 pound mirror it doesn't weigh that much but I rather be safe than sorry so when you buy your command strips it always says it on the top right corner how much weight it can hold you don't want to get anything lower than that like maybe 12 pounds would be okay but like I said it's better to be safe than sorry if you use a piece of wood instead of foam board you obviously will have more options for hanging it up like nails and putting something on the back or screwing it in so i hope you guys enjoyed the video again if you like it give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next time take care bye